Hey guys, this is Norfi179 and welcome to my quick tutorial on getting started with uh, making WoW Machinima movies and uh, chroma key. So here I have uh, the World of Warcraft model viewer which is available on one of the links in the description. Uh, this tutorial isn't about using this program um, in general. You'll have to find that somewhere else. So as you can see here, I'm just um, playing around with some different characters. You can make uh, any character you want uh, out of this and put any gear on them you want. Or you can use um, a creature from the game like a dragon or uh, something else. Now it's important uh, when you do this to have a background that is either green or blue or just some other plain color that is nothing like the colors that uh, you're using. So here I have uh, Deathwing for example of a creature. Isn't he a good looking guy? And uh, you can change the animation that he's doing. Uh, you can record uh, a bunch of different animations. So uh, one thing you need to find as well is a uh, screen recording application. I believe Fraps will work in Wear Model Viewer. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't used it in this. But Fraps is a good one. Uh, at the moment I'm using Cam Studio because that will record uh, anything that's going on on your screen and you can set regions and that one's pretty helpful as well. So as you can see there's a lot of different animations you can set um, from making your WoW movies. Uh, the reason we have a green screen is uh, so we can chroma key it later. You might want to record some things just in game. We may want to record your backdrop in game. Uh, that's completely up to you. Uh, this is just a method that will uh, make it easy to chroma key if you want to do that. Uh, chroma keying is a great way to achieve things which you would not normally be able to achieve in game, uh, just recording in game. Uh, you can also do a lot of post processing of shadows and uh, other stuff which will make uh, your work look uh, really cool. So there's Deathwing's human form dancing for you. Awesome. So, um, yeah, okay. Uh, once we decide on what we want to record, so for this example, I'll use uh, Druid Flight Form just because there's a lot of movement here and there's a lot of green area. And as you can imagine, uh, putting this on to a different backdrop would be very difficult without using chroma keying. So I'm now in a program called. Um, Sony Vegas uh, Studio HD. Um, you can use any program you want, but uh, I like using this, and you can get a free trial. Now, at the moment, I'm just putting my backdrop uh, into the project. Uh, I'll just clean this up. Uh, once again, uh, this isn't a tutorial on how to use Sony Vegas as such, uh, just how to uh, chroma key in it. So you'll have to learn the programs uh, somewhere else. Uh, if you want me to teach you the programs, I can do that as well. Uh, just request another video. So now we want to uh, bring in the video we recorded earlier of our bird flying. As you can see, the green is still here. Notice how I put it in a video track that is higher than uh, our flamey background. Okay, so we're going to drag a chroma key video effect onto this, and uh, as you can see, it's gotten rid of some of um, the green area, but not all of it. So what we're going to do is pick this color picker and do that a bit more accurately. Okay, so now that we have this, there you go, you got your bird flying on a flamey background. This is just a very simple way of doing it. Uh, you can layer this as many times as you want with um, different chroma keys and 
also um, video as your background it's uh, completely up to you and what you want to achieve from your wear video uh, I haven't done any of these sort of machinima videos for wear myself as of yet uh, but a lot of people have been asking how to chroma key so uh, this is my little tutorial uh, rate subscribe and let me know if you want more so yeah